This is the moment in every video shoot. This is how you bring it to life. This is pure perfection. And this is RG Kit Play, a motion control kit, but much more than a motion control kit. Move your design and camera with these motors and accessories. Control it all with your phone. Go round, back and forth, almost fall, but don't, you name it. So whether you're an amateur or a pro, you could create these experiences in your studio, at your home, on your very own desk. To make this easy, here's what we did. There were too many wires, we took that out. A set of wireless modules and a phone app for every movement. Engineered the driver board to create motion stability. Bye bye jitters. Designed loads of accessories for tons of movement with one motor. And this one here controls light, among other things. Interactivity? We added a sensor for that. So you can have access to an all-inclusive tool to bring your ideas to life. The fusion between the hardware and the software seamlessly becomes part of your design process. So you just plug in the modules and they automatically sense each other and connect to your phone wirelessly. On RGKit app, you can control all the modules with zero line of code. So here you have two modes, manual, where you can control all the modules in real time, and auto mode, when you can create a sequence of movement on the app. can play around with the speed, acceleration, duration, and a lot more. And when you click play, the sequence starts automatically. To make RGK Play even more versatile, we created RGK Play accessories. All made of metal, CNC machined, laser cut with very high precision, and coated to give you this playful finish. The possibilities are remarkable. In your stop motion, you can choreograph an entire sequence. Connect this to that and finish before your deadline. And instead of your interactive concept only existing on paper, it can be in an actual exhibition. An actual exhibition. Sync your light, subject and camera movement like a pro. Have full control over the movements and take a video like this. The Logger's Lunchbox is a device that combines global power and audio processing in one unit that hooks to the bottom of a DSLR camera. But let's start from the beginning. So recently I was on a shoot where I actually had to use a DSLR for a full run and gun one man band sort of deal. I think they're awesome tools. Like everyone else, we started mixing DSLRs into our workflow. The picture quality was great, but the ergonomics were so bad they started to interfere with our work. There's problems with the power not staying on as long as we need it to. I mean, my batteries died halfway through an interview. I had to tell the CEO of a company, hold on, I gotta switch batteries on my camera. My uh, audio recorder batteries then suddenly died. I said, hold on, I gotta plug in my audio recorder. There isn't a good way to get audio in. I had like a Tascam recorder, separate audio recorder around my neck, a m monitoring audio on the side of that, and I've got to feed out of that into a Juice Link recorder into my camera just to be able to get low noise preamps with Magic Lantern installed on my DSLR. There's no fan of power. There's no standard connectors for audio. They weren't pulling their weight in the field. Here we are building this like Frankenstein's monster type of camera by adding on different audio components to do what we needed to do and, and, and power components. And there hasn't been that one tool that really simplifies the audio process, that simplifies the power process, that really helps make everything easy to convert a DSLR to a production style camera. We decided to look at how other people are handling these problems. We were looking for global power that can run everything, a way to get audio into the device, 
with phantom power. We also needed monitoring from the camera so we could see if the audio was good with a volume control so you could turn it down. And we needed a way to get it all put together in a package that didn't look ridiculous. For all this money, we could switch these jobs back to real cameras. The old cliche applies. If you want something done right, sometimes you have to do it yourself. So after hundreds of napkin drawings, a bunch of research, talking to a lot of other camera people, the logger's lunchbox began to take form. Our first prototype was called 1.1, the first guts prototype for all the electronics. It wasn't pretty, but it answered all of our questions. First, it solved the DSLR power dilemma. It works with 12 or 14.4 volt broadcast batteries, power sources of all the common chemistries. We settled on a high-speed switching circuit that automatically goes through the four pin when power is applied. You can change it right in the middle of the shot. A single multi-pin connector provides all the connections to the camera, the power and audio. Then we added more things. Two XLR inputs, switchable between mic and line level, switchable phantom power on both of the inputs audio level control, headphone preamp with volume control that uses the signal directly from the camera, accessory power outputs with overload and short circuit protection in both 2.1 and 2.5 millimeter barrel sizes. And to help with the Frankenstein ergonomic problems, we figured a way to get it all into one single box. Or should I say, two boxes. The external form of the lunchbox boiled down to two major styles, the first of which had a compact shoulder mount device we called the run and gun. Run and gun already has most of the features worked out. The broadcast standard four pin power input, monitor headphone jack, two full XLR isolated line level outputs, two XLR inputs, a place for your ENG wireless receivers, a single line mic phantom rotary control for the mic inputs, a one inch diameter system handle above your eye line with two quarter inch accessory mounting holes. Accessory power outputs, rugged left channel, right channel and monitor volume knobs. A single multi-pin connection to the camera. Also an internal ear level speaker for camera audio monitoring. The system will also be black in color. And this thing we call studio. This is Prototype 2.3 Studio. On the front, the same U6 D-style battery connection, and it uses the same multi-pin cable as the larger box. Over on the driver's side, we start out with a rugged quarter-inch headphone jack, then two identical stacked channel strips that have level controls. It sits under the camera and doesn't provide some of the ergonomic tools of the field lunchbox. But mainly, it has the same kind of features, except it's small. Sometimes memories need to be lived a second time. The seduction of the past has a new charm. iBack is back, the device that revives the vintage attraction of analog cameras. The only digital back that pairs with analog cameras. New technology, new and more ergonomic design. A new high-performance battery. Set photos or videos. I'm back 35 records everything as you decide. In manual or automatic mode. You can also afford erroneous exposures. Or not. With its new universal cover, I'm back 35 pairs with almost all the most famous analog cameras. To their desire for fantasy. I'm back 35 because the pleasure of photography has no age.